This English word has never been said before. Because we are so very emergency objective. But now you can really use this English word sometimes. You see, this is a great example of a portmanteau. A portmanteau is two words smashed together, like <laughs> attractive, <laughs> addictive, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could say portmanteaus help make your English more assertive and more whole. You know, more ask. Actually, it's it's like a cocktail. You take one idea, milk, you have another idea, like juice, put them together and you have a tasty glass of mousse. Or jilk. <laughs> That's not nice. But that is how portmanteaus work. You already know the famous examples like Breakfast and lunch becoming brunch. <laughs> but brunch, that's for Karens. I prefer Brinner. Or maybe you need a man to be patronizing to you and explain something you already know. Am I mansplaining again? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or do you have a friend that you secretly wish bad things upon? Th they're not your friend, they're your enemy, but you treat them like a friend. They're both, they're a friend enemy. They're a frenemy. The idea with portmanteaus is that the first time you say them, the other person will understand exactly what you mean, which two words were pushed together. However, this isn't always the case. You might need to explain, oh yeah, I just melded the word weld and melt. That's how we got the word meld, which is also a portmanteau. Oh, hi there. I just need to clarify one quick thing. This lesson and hundreds of others are available in my ebook. You can study with them right now. It's available on patreon.com slash papateachme or my website papateachme.com. But if you're preparing for IELTS, you need the exam success tier. That gives you access to the academic vocabulary and reading skills that you need to smash the IELTS. Both that and the ebook are constantly updating. When I release a new lesson, there'll be a new worksheet for you to study with. I think that's everything. Okay, back to the lesson. The idea is to make communication more effective and more efficient by combining two different words, two different ideas into one thing. So yes, it's not more formal or more academic sometimes, but it's definitely more fun and stylish. In my classes, I realized there are lots of portmanteaus that we use all the time that my students didn't know. Bromance. This is really fun and it's super cute. You know when two guys, they're like best friends, they, they take photos, to, they take selfies together, it's really, really cute. Like me and my best friend Tom, we take really, really cute photos together. Tom is my bro, not my real brother, just a really good friend. So this, is de this definitely qualifies as a bromance. Who do you have a bromance with? Does your friend have a bromance with anyone? The idea is to be fun and creative with these word combinations. So imagine, for example, something really bad happens between two best guy friends. You might call it a brotastrophe. Do you have a fake Instagram account? You know, like you use to stalk your ex or look up weird stuff on Instagram. I definitely don't have one. But this is called a Finsta, a fake Instagram. So do you have a Finsta? Camping is not fun. Real question, if you pay so much money for rent every month, why would you voluntarily go sleep in the forest? I don't understand the fun of camping. Now, some people try to make camping fun by making it glamorous. Glamorous camping? Have you heard of glamping? Yeah, it's still rubbish. It's just a little bit nicer than sleeping under a tree. Okay, no, sleeping under a tree, that kind of sounds fun. Next is dumbfounded. You are dumb and confounded. You are dumbfounded. I was dumbfounded at the rental prices in London. Yeah, you're not saying this person is stupid if you say they're dumbfounded. You're saying this situation left them feeling so dumb, confused, confounded, because this situation was so surprising, so shocking. Finally, do you own a pair of these jeans and leggings together? Th jeggings. 
What do you call these in your language? Do you- I feel like you call them jeggings too. Okay, this one is very, very cute. Are you in a relationship? If so, what is your couple name? That's your name and your partner's name put together to sound cute. So for example, if you're Ben and Jennifer, you're Benifer. If you're Taylor and Travis, you're Trailer? Yeah, some don't sound cute, but that's okay. You know what is cute? Cats and dogs. You know when you put two types of dog together, like a Labrador and a Poodle, and you get a Labradoodle, a Pomeranian, and a Chihuahua? A Pomchi? Those are so cute. But nothing could prepare you for the cuteness of a Pomsky, Pomeranian and Husky. I mean. And we also do this for languages. This one you will definitely want to use. For example, you know when you're speaking another language and you can't remember the name, but you know it in your language, like Donde esta mi thing to charge my phone? This mixture of Spanish and English creates Spanglish. And if you're watching me in Japan, konnichiwa everyone san. I've just created Japanglish. What I want to know though is what's the mix of your language and English? Or do you mix two different languages together sometimes? What's that mixture called? And for a little test, what would these be? German and English. Let me know in the comments. What is that portmanteau? French and English. What's that? And if I say, Ajitonega, love you. What did I just speak? Korean and English creates now the best way to learn English is to practice it. So we're going to make a new English word. Not we. I'm not doing anything. This is all you. So think of two activities or two ideas. Uh, for example, you're at the gym and while you're running, you're watching a TV show on your phone. Sweat flicks. This one time, a friend told me that when she goes to the toilet, she likes to play Sudoku on her phone. So one time we're out in a cafe and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the toilet. And I'm like, oh, you're gonna go play Pudoku? <coughs> Sorry. Or if you sleep through a whole flight, you could say, yeah, I'm just gonna fleep the whole way. <laughs> Airlines, don't steal that from me. I will sue you. Let's make a new English word together. Try your own in the comments. Give an explanation if it's necessary. Put those words together in a way that sounds good. Write them in the comments. Let me know. Let's make some new English words together. I'm not really doing any of the work here. This is all you. So I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you in the next class. Bye. And remember, as Yeji says, English is about confidence. And you got this, bro. Yeah,